what happens when you push energy into the skin. We have fibroblasts. Fibroblasts are the collagen and elastin growing cells. So what happens? These fibroblasts, in response to the energy of the radio frequency or the radio frequency microneedling, the skin of the face secretes heat shock protein and cytokines. These biochemical mediators attract fibroblasts to migrate. So they move from the rest of your body into your face. And then these same biochemical mediators make these fibroblasts churn out more collagen and elastin. So just imagine tons of these tiny collagen growing factories that are moving from your back, from your arm, from your chest to your face. And then they're churning out new collagen and elastin. The collagen and elastin, it turns out, is the same as what you normally produce. It starts as the type 3. After about 3 weeks, with the help of another biochemical mediator, it's called collagen chaperone HSP4, it matures from type 3 to type 1. Type 1 is a mature form, the same as what you normally produce. So what we try and do is we try and break the fibrous walls, build collagen and smoothen the scars. Now, we can't get you completely smooth. I would say 70-75% smoothing, normal speaking distance, normal lighting, you can't see it. Oh, it's a lot smoother. We can do a little, we can do a lot, but we can't make you perfectly smooth no matter how many times and how many treatments that we have.